Bonjour mes amis. So my name is Sandrine. I am an Ascension mentor and trans channel. So I'm mostly trans channel, the amazing Anok, who's the head of the healing council of Actress. But also, I channel other galactic beings. And recently, I have channeled a very different kind of frequency. I actually recorded it. I wanted to have a full-on video to put on YouTube to show you how I channeled that frequency. I cried a lot and I wasn't sure I wanted to post it. The transmission lasted 1 hour 12 minutes 21 seconds. And the transmission decided for itself because more than two thirds of it is actually black. There is only the sound, no more image. So it was a sign. Um, not that channeling cannot be on the platform like this, but revisit it, work it, uh, so that you can bring that to the public from a place of being fully aligned to your soul, your soul mission, and the highest template of reality residing within 5D reality. This is what I'm doing now. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also comment, I would love to hear your thoughts, all of them, because in total honesty, I have absolutely zero judgment on your belief system and on how you feel about what I'm going to share. Because it's going to trigger a lot of you. And this is not why I do this, <laughs> why this message is so strong and really needs to come through. So basically, um, I channeled the Lord of Darkness. We, and he, the Lord of Darkness is uh, the head of the reptilian race uh, or draconians. So he's the head of the lowest frequency possible that we can find on Earth. So I had connected to him before in quantum healing hypnosis, right? So in quantum healing hypnosis, once I was like, he's coming, he's coming. And then um, the person facilitating felt like this kind of, and we both felt this kind of density coming. But I wasn't scared. It was just like a shift in frequency. And then all of a sudden he was there, the Lord of Darkness. And he greeted me as he greeted me the other day. Hello, old friend. Mm. And from that, I received a lot of information. So I'm not going to share everything about it because it's going to be too long. I want to go more or less straight to the point. But just know that he called me old friend because he explained a lot about the history of humanity as well. So we lived through amazing times all the way through Lemuria and Atlantis. I was there. And in Atlantis, the reptilian came because the reptilian race, they are like other star races, right? They, ha they have a frequency and that frequency, these beings want to have an experience and they come as all star races come with other things that they enjoy doing, you know? And what they enjoy doing is to create control, to create fear, to create um, a guilt and greed. So this is what, what they do, what they play with, if you like, those frequencies. So they came in Atlantean time and they say to the people basically like, this is what we have to offer. You know, we want to come here and if you want to join, this is simply something that is on offer. And uh, this is the important point is that out of all the people there, more than 50% of the population chose to have an experience with the reptilians. That was the tipping point. Earth fell into pure density that we're experiencing right now. The leaders of the Atlanteans who turned their back against the highest frequencies were called the fallen angels. I was one of them. I was a leader, extremely powerful, and basically I wanted to have an experience with the reptilians. So when uh, that came first, that was a shock. And when I started learning that years ago about me, I was like, it really it terrified me so much. I was feeling so guilty that it really shut me down. So I really needed a lot of healing around that to understand what the fuck did I do? Runa? Why did I do that? So what uh, was explained to me is that 
I chose it out of curiosity because I was extremely highly skilled into understanding templates and programs and I had been working already a lot with the Actorians and other star races and I just wanted to try to see if I could apply everything that I had learned to pure density, to materiality. So I was curious, you know? I was curious and I found something in me, in me that was like, I want to see how that feels. Mm -hmm. So I went there and then I worked actively with them to create templates and programs and so on. What was interesting is that uh, the Lord of Darkness explained that when they came with their templates and so on, pain wasn't part of the equation. Pain wasn't there. Pain was never there. And he also explained that the notions of light and darkness are erroneous because they are polarizing. He said to me, there is only oneness. What creates this tension is the inability of humans to stand into their power and realize that they have options, that these programs of enslavement, of scarcity, are simply an option amongst other programs, abundance, heart-centered living, sacredness. Because people forget, humans forget who they are, they forget that they are the light and they are wired into these templates coming from the reptilians, then they started developing pain. This is very important to understand. So after a couple hundred years of the reptilians coming, to start with, it's like people had the options. Oh, I want to have this experience. I want to have that experience. But as more and more people followed the reptilian race and because it became dominant, that tipping point was dominant, the conscious collective started being creating. So like it's like the new generations were plugged in already. So it's kind of this tipping point, you know, was so big that it became like people forgot basically the origin people forgot that they had a choice and then because humans felt trapped you know like of course like i'm one i'm one of you or like i'm one of them and i completely get it like we get so angry and frustrated we develop pain in our heart like love is hard you know being in a relationship is freaking hard that is not true you know being in a relationship doesn't have to be painful having a, a job doesn't have to be painful the same with the physical body. Pain is not part of the physical body to start with. Pain, the pain as we inf the, that we inflict to each other, was not part of the program brought by reptilians. These were developed by humans unable to see their options and choose accordingly from courage. It was easier to stay stuck in those programs and experience pain than being courageous, unplug, go against current and plug themselves into a higher timeline. And it went down here. So what the Lord of Darkness uh, explained to me as well is that after a couple of hundred years ago of working with them very closely, this is why he called me old friend, <laughs> that um, when pain started to really manifest amongst humans, like I couldn't like I couldn't bear it. I thought like that's not for me. It's not what I signed for. I don't want to you know, be part of the pain program anymore. Like I did create these programs to experience if I could, you know, uh, master all of that. And I did, and now I just, I choose to step back into like higher frequencies because there is no dark and light. There is only frequencies. There's a frequency of density, of guilt, of anger, of frustration of manipulation, of greed. And then all the ranges of frequency with like enthusiasm and love being the highest. Also gratitude. So I chose the other side. But you know, like I kind of had to repay for all of that shit that I had created through, you know, like karmic purging and healing and I'm still doing it. And I, tr I strongly trust that this is why now my sole mission is to work with the Actorians to serve humanity, to uh, um, detangle and, and destroy 
forever the freaking program that you know I and my friends created to start with I'm so sorry and I'm doing it I'm so freaking doing it okay so that being said A lot started coming as well around conspiracy theories and I thought it was fascinating because at the moment so much is starting to come up to the surface and I'm not again about to speak into what is true what is not true and about the war because he says like there is no war war is an illusion it's just choices people choose a frequency people choose an experience but there is no war when people think there is a war when people drop into dark versus light they stay stuck into a level of frequencies that prevent them from reaching oneness oneness being to from the center of our heart to align so deeply in our light to reach a state of mastery of the mind to understand the flow of emotion so deeply to have so much compassion and love for the whole of humanity that we can allow each and every single person to have the experience they need to have right now it is not for us to judge so it is not important to know who does what and blah 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 this is not important like it just keeps us on polarizing saying oh these are the nasty people blah 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 no like all of that is actually keeping us locked and this is what the lord of darkness said also it's like when people start bashing you know other people around conspiracy theories what they don't realize is that they are fully freaking hooked into the 3d matrix in place for the actorians because from from the reptilians sorry from the reptilians because this is a pretty clever matrix right so this matrix keeps them hooked because people are like oh, how can how can they not see the truth they're so stupid they're so dormant and i keep on telling them you know like and uh, 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 this is this is not true like this is what's happening behind the scene and blah 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 like none of that is actually helping the person we are projecting all of this you know like this truth upon to it's not helping them to awake no what's gonna what, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna take them away from the unalignment take them away from their reality creating a, a crack inside of them that's gonna make them terrified and in a state of fear so it's creating wealth effect and because we are like bah, 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 we act from a place of ego of i know better than you I am going to create something better that is going to, you know, destroy all of these horrible people in power doing all of this nasty shit. So we basically are full on reproducing the same system over and over again. And when I was like, it's like, what, what can we do then? I personally, I, I believe that behind the scenes there is a ton of disgusting shit happening right but i'm not gonna start tapping my energy into that no i refuse to see racism i don't believe at all into like uh, creating mass fear through pandemics like i mean like fuck all that i don't want to be that person either you know who just ignores the whole thing for purpose of enlightenment i want to be of service i want to act so what can we do well what we can do is first of all come back to a place of alignment with our soul simply saying i request now to be a hundred percent connected to my soul i request now to be a hundred percent connected to my soul to my truth to the light of the divine and to gaia i am willing to be a channel of divine truth without projecting any of my shit onto others so 
when I see injustice in the world, I can speak from a place of truth into bringing oneness, never to judge anyone, never to call other people names, people in power. Oh, the guy is such a prick, he's such a big... No, because that keeps us hooked. Always rise up, never judge, accept the experiences, always stay plugged into love, into gratitude, into frequencies. Every day I see the world through the lenses of 5D reality being here already. Love is all around me. Abundance is all around me. I redistribute money through all of my offerings. I am shifting reality because I share with the world what I perceive because I'm being authentic. I serve my people to the best of my ability without judging the ones who don't give a shit about all of that, who just wants to play in the matrix and be horrible people because I respect them. I don't, I don't judge them. They chose to have an experience. And if they are being called to having another experience because I have reached an amount of pain that is so unbearable that they are looking for something else, then I will be there or somebody else will be there. But the soul always has to shift by itself. So outside, what we create is raising the vibrations by acting from a place of love, gratitude, forgiveness, non-judgment. Then we increase the frequencies of the earth by channeling constantly, by embodying divinity every day. When we embody that, when we integrate that in our everyday life through aligned actions, then we unplug ourselves from the matrix, from the reptilians, and we ask to be replugged to a higher level, shifting the conscious collective so it becomes easier for other people looking for ease, looking for healing, looking for oneness looking for co-creation in this world. It becomes easier for them to shift because the tipping point has shifted. Listen to this, 5D reality is here already. The war is over, the reptilians are gone. What is left is just the reminiscence of humans living on this earth. So the Lord of Darkness told me that he is gone. There was, um, a dissension amongst them, they fought, and the hierarchy in the invisible, the hierarchy of the reptilians in the quantum world could not bear it any longer. <laughs> the Lord of Darkness was like, oh, it is too busy on Earth right now. Like, so many Palladians, so many Arcturians since the galactic opening, it's like they cannot bear it anymore. And Gaia is like, you know, vibrating way higher with the Schumann resonance increasing, all galactic portals open. Like the frequencies basically they are too high for the reptilians, like they're, they're like, we've had enough. And in the multiverse, there is a new planet that has just been created or like it's in, it's in process of, you know, um, welcoming life. And then basically there was an option like, you can go there and like the hierarchy are like, up oh, we go. Like we can have a ball there. There's no one there. We're just going to create our ID, right? Society over there. So basically they decided to go. And it's fascinating because he showed me that uh, they go through bra uh, black holes to, you know, to uh, um, uh, move through the multiverse. So cool. So I learned so much. And so basically he told me like, they're gone. You know, they don't want, you know, to stay here. But he told me like, because they're gone, it's like now the army on earth, they don't, they don't have any more generals. There's no one, like no one. There's no more rules, there's nothing. So it's like, be prepared. Be prepared, humans, because they're gonna go frantic. Because they know their time is over, so they're gonna pull all the ropes they can, do everything they can, and actually, because it's out of control, the pain templates created in the conscious collective is gonna freaking reach the highest point ever the experience on earth. It's gonna be freaking intense, but it's just, it's like a pressure cooker. 
like if you want um before you start a diet you might go oh let's go like for one more meal and you stuff your face and you can't move any longer it's like oh why did i do that but then it's it's easier to start the diet because your body's like oh just need clean food right now it's it's gonna happen and it's happening right now 2020 is the shift you know what happened at the beginning of the year and covid 19 is just a preparation so brace yourself uh, get ready for that uh, get ready uh, as i you know i shared in the q a with my beautiful friend melissa get ready so if you haven't watched that you can go and watch that now uh, it's amazing there's lots of information around that and the disclosure and the event in that q a so the most important is to remember that you are a light of the divine and that we all are because what came through as well the lord of the, the do, lord of darkness he told me like we also are a spark of the divine because there is only divinity there is nothing else than divine oneness they have a spark like us and you know what they vibrate at the same frequency that light of the divine vibrates at the same frequency amongst all living beings and i really want to let that sink in when you think that you're above someone else because no it's just that the light is hidden that a lot of people of being choose not to look at it to put a ton of crap on it to identify with something else they forget to look the lord of darkness show me like like he's got the same light he's got the same light as me as you as all of us it's just that he doesn't work with it he doesn't tap into it he, he he chooses to tap into other things it's an experience but i choose to tap in that light i want it to like be fully in me everywhere so clear so vibrant that it's not only in my physical body and fully expanded in my soul but it's all around me so when people simply walk around me they can feel those high frequencies and it's how we shift humanity so again Think twice again when you start thinking that that person, that person is evil. No, no, that person is not evil. No, that person is simply running an experience. Mm? And this is not for us to say they're going to have to pay for this. They're going to have to pay for that. That belongs to the, to the greater architecture of the universe. The universe is perfect. They, they have chambers for healing, you know, where people, um, after they have perpetuated horrible crimes, they go, I've seen like those places, and they go into these places for as long as they need to, until they can connect back to their soul. And from that perspective, have kind of a projector projecting all the lives that were not acted upon that light. So they can have an understanding, so they can realize again that they had the choice to do otherwise. They just didn't choose to do it. So of course, there is a lot more to this than just this. You know, um, gosh, I could talk for hours. But yeah, as you can see, I'm really passionate about that. And um, I really understand more why it's so easy for me to clear entities and demons and why I'm not scared of them and why I don't hate them and why I don't hate people who have so freaking much compassion and understanding for all of us. And like we live in very interesting times, my friends. And all that we can do is to really stay aligned to our soul and meditate every day, spend time in nature, be grateful for what we have, you know? And know that as well, we're gonna make it. Hmm? Yeah, we're gonna make it. That's a hundred percent sure. Time frame is not really clear, but it has started. So let's see what unfolds and let's choose now. Let's choose now from our sovereignty which frequencies we are going to play with at every single moment in our lives. Which frequency we choose to play with every single moment of our lives are the frequencies that we are going to vibrate not only in ourselves, but around us. Not only manifesting a certain timeline, but also shifting the conscious collective. You have so much power to change yourself, to change your reality and to change the world. Be that light now. 
Be in love also. Be in the amazing you. And the world is a better place because you are in it. So shine unapologetically in it. Choose the highest path always. And if you're interested to discover all about your soul mission, your highest timeline, your highest identity, if you're interested to really tune into your intuition so much that you can start doing this type of work, you know, like of channeling, like galactic beings channeling angels and archangels and really be a tool for divine manifestation, to really be an architect of the new earth. I have the perfect container for you. It's life-changing as well. Like all the people in it, their life is different. It's just six weeks. So it's an online course called, called the Galactic Intuitive. And it's for all people. Now, even if you are already intuitive, it's full of trans channeling of Actorians healing. It's full of transmission from the Actorians. So it's really next level. It's for all, really. So if you're interested, just go on my website, sandrines.com. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.